Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Braxophone, and today I have two insane crit builds for Gene for you guys. I know in our physical damage versus crit video, we talked a lot about why there were benefits to physical damage and why there were benefits to crit, and ultimately how we could achieve better crit rate. Well, look no further, we have done it. We have one build with insane crit damage and crit rate, and we have one crit build with insane crit damage, insane attack, and decent crit rate. So we're gonna look at both of those today. We're gonna talk about which is better and how you can substitute some of these things to make it viable for you. We cover this a bit in my crit versus physical damage video, but the TLDR of why you should build crit is just that it hits really hard when it's built right. If you've ever played first person shooter, it's like the equivalent of hitting constant headshots for the crazy damage multiplier. Luckily, the nature of Genshin Impact allows us to build up that multiplier crazy high. Let's just go ahead and get right into sets so I can show you guys the details. The two sets we looked at today are Gladiator and Berserker. Gladiator gives us an 18% bonus to our attack stat when we're using two pieces, and when we're using four pieces it gives us a 35% damage buff to our normal and charged attacks. This set alone is very strong, but when you combine two and two with another set you can make it absolutely broken. The Berserker set gives a 12% bonus to crit rate when you have two pieces equipped, and when you have four pieces equipped below 70 percent health you get another bonus to crit rate but we're not going to be using the four piece set today the weapon we'll be using for both of these builds is the black sword which is a battle pass weapon that some of you may not have access to and if that is the case stay tuned i have a really strong alternative for you after we discuss the dps of both sets speaking of dps of both sets as usual i did some testing and so here are the results of my trials we tested both of the sets described four piece gladiator and two piece berserker two piece gladiator with ultimately very close to the same stats but you'll see some different crit rate and you'll see some different damage for the test today, we tried 3 hit plus charge attack combos 4 times in a row for both sets. Keep in mind all the damage done today is on a golem, so ultimately most of it's going to be reduced with the exception of the elemental damage. The first set we tested today was the 4 piece gladiator set, which has a lower crit rate but higher overall damage, and it gives us a total DPS of 902, with a gale blade of 2471, and a dandelion breeze of 3595. On crit, Gale Blade hits for 49.35, and on crit, Dandelion Breeze hits for 71.79. This build already hits harder than a lot of the other ones I've shown you. That's mostly because I've leveled up my artifacts and my weapon and gene. However, you can see that the crit build really does a ton of damage. The second build we tested was the two-piece Berserker, two-piece Gladiator set, so we still get the 18% attack bonus and we get the 12% crit rate. In total, we had a DPS of 947.5, which slightly outdoes the four-piece Gladiator set. Gale Blade hit for 2407, which is slightly less than the Gladiator set, and Dandelion Breeze hit for 3501, which is also slightly less than the Gladiator set. Gale Blade on crit hit 4911, and Dandelion Breeze on crit hit 7145. As you can see, the results were very close, so let's talk about it. There's a couple things that this data means. We took off a 35% damage bonus for our normal attacks in favor of 12% crit, and the DPS remained incredibly close with the abilities only falling slightly behind. This is interesting because it shows that there is a sort of ratio of give and take with crit. You could even make the argument here that 12% more crit is worth giving up 35% damage. Ultimately though, I would stay away from that because crit is RNG and obviously some people are going to hit better than others. On average though, it does look like as far as physical damage goes, running the two-piece berserker for the crit bonus will be better. The numbers will be lower but the crits will be more consistent. Ideally, when you're building crit, you want to have a minimum of 40% crit rate, but I think that getting crit rate to 50% is going to be way more optimal. My crit rate's only 40%-ish because my artifact substats are kind of terrible, but if you can get all of your artifacts to have crit rate on them, you could probably push around 55% without any crazy bonuses at all. Let's talk about weapons though, because these are pretty important too. I really like the Black Sword for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that it fits Jean's Paladin playstyle very well, as it gives 60% of attack as HP when you score a crit, which compensates for Jean's lack of healing on a crit build. It doesn't heal the full party, but Jean is an unstoppable force when she's getting healed for huge numbers in addition to her passive. In addition to that, the Black Sword has a passive which increases normal attack damage by 20%, which is just a pretty strong stat. Its base stat is crit rate, which allows me to use a crit damage artifact instead of a crit rate artifact for pretty high total crit damage. As stated earlier in the video though, we have an option for those of you who couldn't get access to the Black Sword. If you don't have the Black Sword, the 3 star weapon Harbinger of Dawn is a weapon that gives a base stat of crit damage, which would allow you to switch my crit damage artifact with a crit rate artifact and essentially accomplish the same thing that I have. If you refine Harbinger of Dawn 5 times, its ability increases your crit rate by 28% when your HP is above 90%, which is pretty nuts actually for a 3 star. 
The only reason I'm not using it is because I love the heal from the Black Sword, and I don't find myself with above 90% HP often because I am at world level 5. The damage from both sets is really strong though overall, and it's really hard to decide which one is really better because it's so close. I would argue that your decision in which set to run should ultimately depend on the substats of your artifact, not the main stats. If you have a lot of attack percent, I might put that onto the Gladiator set and settle for a lower crit rate but higher base damage just to be in the safe zone. Here's some improvements you can make too though. If you run a caster and you're willing to give up a little bit of their DPS, you can run the 3-star weapon Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, which on character swap gives 24% more attack to the character swap to for 10 seconds. And at refinement 5, it gives a 48% attack bonus, which is absolutely disgusting for a 3-star. On that same caster character, you could run Noblesse, which gives a 20% attack bonus to your entire party for a short period of time after Elemental Burst. One last alteration you can make is to run Shang Yun and turn your normal attacks into ice aspected attacks for a slight damage bonus, and even higher if you have some elemental mastery. And finally, you could always level up your artifacts to max, unlike a certain someone who made this video. And with all that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I honestly can't believe how fast we're growing. It's really crazy. I love making Genshin Impact content, and if you love seeing Genshin Impact content, make sure to drop a sub on my channel. That way you can be updated with all of the new stuff I'm coming out with. I really love making these guides for you guys, and I'm glad that you guys are liking them as well. Oh, and obviously if you like the video, make sure to drop a like. That always helps as well. That's about it. See ya.